Tiancum and Moroni, showing great courage. After Amalekiah died, his brother Amaron became the Lamanite king. Amaron kept fighting the Nephites. The war lasted for years. The Nephites began winning, so all the Lamanite armies ran away to one city. Moroni, Tiancum, and another Nephite captain marched after the Lamanites with their armies. Tiancum was angry that Amalekiah and Amaron had caused this big, long war. Because of the war, many people had died and there was very little food. Tiancum wanted to end the war. He went into the city at night to look for Amaron. Tiancum climbed over the city wall. He went from place to place in the city until he found where Amaron was sleeping. Tiancum threw a javelin at Amaron. It hit him near the heart, but Amaron woke his servants before he died. Amaron's servants chased Tiancum and killed him. The other Nephite leaders were very sad Tiancum died. He had fought bravely for the freedom of his people. Even though he died, Tiancum had helped the Nephites win the war. He had made the Lamanites lose their leader. The next morning, Moroni fought the Lamanites and won. The Lamanites left the Nephites' land and the war ended. There was finally peace. Moroni worked hard to make the Nephites' land safer from the Lamanites. Then Moroni went home to live in peace. Prophets taught the gospel and led the church of God. The people trusted in the Lord and he blessed them.